function without return type, and with arguments. In this lesson, we will discuss functions without return types and with arguments. If you wish to omit the return type, we will have to add the void keyword. Because, as we discussed earlier, a void indicates that the function should not return any value. So let's analyze the program with an example. In this example, we declare some function with the return type as void and an integer argument. Inside the main function, we initialize the variable x as 10. Then we invoke the sum function with the passing variable x as an argument. Now we come to function definition. Here we declared a variable called y to receive the value from the x variable. Inside the sum function, we show a text message. In the next line, we show an output by adding y value twice. Let's test the program. To do that, compile the code using the Alt F9 key. Then click the OK button and run the code using the Control F9. This is an output which has been added in the sum function. Now you understand writing a function without return type and with arguments. Function with return type and arguments. In this lesson, we will discuss writing a function with a return type and an argument. In this type of function, we can pass the parameters as well and we can return the values immediately. Let's consider the example. In this sample code, in the function declaration, we mention the return type and also an integer parameter. Inside the main function, we declare two integer variables called x and y. Here we show a text message and we give input to the variable x using this scanf function. In the next line, we assign the result of sum of x to the variable y. Otherwise, the garbage value is stored in the y variable. When the sum of x is encountered, the control goes to the function definition. Here, we receive the value of x which is passed from the main function, and then we add by a value twice and return to the main function. Finally, we show an output using the printf statement. So you can understand this better, we'll run the program. For that, compile the code using the Alt F9. After the compilation, click on the OK button, and then run the code using Control F9. Now enter an integer value. When you're done, press the Enter key. This is the output. In this discussion, we analyze the way of using parameters and return values in the same function. For more information on user-defined functions, you can buy the book, Let Us See, written by Yashwant Kanitkar. Here are the important points to remember about the return keyword. On executing the return statement, it immediately transfers control back to the calling function. It returns the value present in the parentheses after return to the calling function. There is no restriction on the number of return statements that may be present in a function. The return statement need not always be present at the end of the called function. A function can return only one value at a time. And we can return only the particular type of value which we've specified as return type in the function declaration. The return keyword can be used in various manners like this. Now you have learned about the return keyword and how we can use it in many different ways.